Here I have a Python shell open in idle, and I've imported a file called logic.py, which contains some Python code I've written to represent propositional formulae and some operations on them that I might want to have. If you aren't using idle, then you may need to do something like from logic import star in order to load those operations in. Because I'm using idle, those are already imported as you can see here. The first thing I'm going to want to do is set up some propositional variables. I'll call mine p, q, and r. And I have a function named vars, which takes a list of strings as the names for those propositional variables. So I have strings p, q, and r. If I want to see what p is, it's a proposition. q and r are also propositions. There are a few things I might want to be able to do with a proposition. So one of them would be to build a propositional formula. We had an example of a propositional formula in an earlier video which said p or q and not p implies q. So let's define this as formula 1. Now what is formula 1? It's a proposition and it's built out of these propositional variables so it's p or q and not p implies q. I might want to see the truth table. So I have a method called print truth table. And as in the previous video, in every row this formula is true, which meant that this formula was a tautology. So I may also want to ask, is formula 1 a tautology? And that's true because it is. We had a couple more formulae. One of them was p and q implies r, and another one was p implies q implies r. So again, I can print a truth table here. And this is the same as we had in the previous video. I have a true and then a false and then six truths. I may want to know if these two formulae are equivalent to each other. So I can do that by typing formula 2 equals equals formula 3. And that's true because they are logically equivalent, as we verified in the previous video. To actually write these propositions, you'll have noticed that I'm using different symbols here. Because obviously I can't type the symbols for the logical operations, like implies, um, certainly not in Python anyway, uh, because these symbols don't have a meaning in Python, but I can override Python's logical operations like or, and, not. And then this is normally a right shift operator, but I've defined it so that it means implies. So if I want p and q, I can have p or q, I can have not p, I can have p implies q. There are a couple more that I've got here, which is p is implied by q. And I have an if and only if, which I've added as a method. So that's p dot if q with two f's. The other operations that I can do with these things are, well, we've seen that we can print the truth table. I can test if something is a tautology. I can test if something is a contradiction. So P and not P should be a contradiction. I could test if something is a contingency. So formula two should be a contingency. And I can test if two things are equivalent using the equals equals. So formula one should not be equivalent to formula two.